In case you guys didn't know, this is where the contracts simultaneously expire, causing trading to soar in the last hour. Because of unusual price movements, sessions are dubbed the quadruple witching hour or freaky Friday in the stock market lingo. That's right guys, in today's video I wanted to touch on quadruple witching day which is June 16th, the third Friday in June, and how it correlates over to the options chain, what we have lined up for AMC and GameStop as potential catalysts, and we usually have, you know, what is the next catalyst that could cause AMC and GameStop to squeeze? But now is different. A lot of things are lining up, not just one, for mid to late June. And I want to talk about it. <clears throat> I want to show where we're at currently. And if you don't keep up with the channel or haven't watched my videos, we touch on AMC, GameStop, the charts, and then we go over stuff that's happening with the economy, the S&P 500, so on and so forth. Without further ado, guys, if you find value out of the video or enjoy watching, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So June 16th expiration on GameStop, you can see that it's looking extremely bullish. 13,000 calls compared to 6,000 puts just about expiring in the money but 55,000 compared to 14,000 call to put ratio expiring out of the money. GameStop's options chain is not only doing extremely well for that date, but for the date where we're trading at now, this week's expiration, <clears throat> the week after, and basically the entire options chain that you can see GameStop is doing extremely, extremely well. Keep in mind, recently reported positive earnings. However, take a look at AMC options chain for that expiration. There are a bit more puts expiring out of the money. However, a total of over a million contracts expiring on that quad witching day. So just keep in mind, it will be a very, very volatile week and most importantly, a very, very volatile Friday, one hour before market close, which essentially is just leading up to a couple catalysts that we have. So first of all, AMC fails to deliver have hit all time highs and we have not seen it reflect price action just yet. We are letting those accumulate and we are waiting for the major spikes in price that we should be seeing on AMC. So keep that in the back of your head, keep that in mind, fails to deliver are accumulating as well. Now mark your calendars for June 29th and June 30th. This is when the conversion reverse split will all get sorted out hopefully most likely may take a little bit of time after that but hopefully they will come to a conclusion this is one of the most important catalysts that we have and the reason being is whether it goes through or not this is the most contested legality thing that has happened with amc to say the least right this is the most controversial contested thing and not only that but the judge is very stern and really needs data facts provided and may find something fishy going on with amc or the case in general. So keep that in the back of your head as well. This is another catalyst and probably the most important that we have to pay attention to. On top of that, GameStop, when they recently reported positive earnings, had a 50% rip and they are reporting between June 1st and June 8th, which is just another sprinkle on top because if we think AMC or GameStop is going to run mid-June, this just adds to it that it may run even sooner and GameStop might gap up again on earnings. Now, this is what we are expecting in the chart. It's playing out beautiful and and this is exactly where quad witching plays out june 16th right here we have it in the yellow dotted line which lines up right in the box of the point of interest that we have with amc to have its major rip everything is lining up perfectly to late june to mid to late june and i am currently still holding my calls on amc and gamestop overall this is what we're looking for for the rest of this week may 26 look for a scale up to around five dollars and ninety cents if that doesn't happen then it should happen monday also next week coming up to about seven dollars that is my opinion on amc based off of these cycles that we have been tracking leading up to quad witching it is looking beautiful as for gamestop it's looking even better gamestop is trading at $22.80, up 3.5% on the day, and it's tracking very well to what we have drawn out. And if it does track perfectly to this, then late May, early June, before the earnings even hits, GameStop is going to scale up to the high 30s. I know that's kind of a stretch for some of you guys. Some of you guys might think, whoa, but this is the time period where the algorithms actually have a chance to push GameStop higher. And the market makers usually try to stump the momentum. But as you can see, the calls are very much so out favoring the puts for the options chain for one. The only thing that may worry people is the volume, right? We need more volume in GameStop. However, keep in mind 60% is DRS, which means that whatever fuckery is happening, they only have 40% of the float to do it with rather than however much they have on AMC. Overall, this is looking beautiful for GameStop. If this one doesn't play out, we still have a bullish cycle that essentially leading up to quad witching 
would still scale up even higher and then get a push even higher. But I also just think it's sooner because the earnings is playing out sooner than quad witching. Now, some things that might affect the overall market, short sellers, and affect AMC and GameStop. The White House says if the US defaults on its debt, the stock market could fall 45%, which keep in mind, if you overlay 2008 on the S&P 500, it does show a big gap down. This does not have to play out. It's just something to keep in the back of your head. Also, clearly an AI generated picture that states an explosion happened near the Pentagon is basically roaming around the internet but this is fake news it got debunked very very quick and most people who tweeted this have deleted the tweet 10 to 20 minutes after they actually tweeted it and you saw a major dip on the S&P 500 with a major rebound probably shaking some bulls out it is what it is more so Fed's Bullard says the Fed will have to go higher on the policy rate perhaps 50 BPS more hiking this year which will affect the entire market and according to Goldman Sachs the US could default on its debt on June 8th or June 9th. Guys, that is another thing. The economy is in a tough spot for June. So if you see the economy in a very tough spot, banks in a very tough spot, all of these bigger players are tied to the other bigger players. You have to keep that in the back of your head. Retail is on the winning side because it costs us absolutely nothing to hold. Now, before we jump into the S&P 500, what's happening with HSBC Bank and layoffs? If you guys are sleeping on the Discord, make sure to join the Discord. The link is under the video. It's in the description and I will leave it pinned in the top of comments. I am in there on the daily as well as 500 of the most amazing people so far where we have options trading alert we talk stocks all day long we post gains losses and take a few dgen bets here and there overall that link is under the video join now don't sleep on it it is well worth it also if you want up to 20 free stocks use my link sign up for Moomoo, make an account and make a deposit you will start earning up to 20 free stocks from there plus you get access to free level two order book data trading options going long going short a customizable earnings calendar and more plus from australia you will get 10 free amc stocks plus another 10 on top of that the amc ones are guaranteed all you have to do is sign up with my link and make a deposit courtesy of me and Mumu, so thank you Mumu. Also, somebody asked in the previous video, how is Mumu giving 10 AMC stocks when the whole float is bought up? Listen, ask Adam Aaron, how am I still buying? It just doesn't make sense. As long as we're getting these receipts, that is all that matters. Now, the S&P 500 is trading at $418.46, just down 0.04 of a percent right now, kind of basing off of this top of this parallel channel that we have. If this is bullish, it will get a bounce here and scale back up and close that gap right around 421.50. That is the gap fill that we have been talking about on the channel. Once that fills, I will look for a smack rejection for the SPY to sell off even further and or gap up even higher, but I don't have those levels drawn out right now. Now, British telecommunications giant BT Group said it's planning to cut as many as 55,000 jobs by 2030, and at least 10,000 of those jobs could be replaced by some form of AI. On top of that, Meta was just slapped with a record $1.3 billion fine over EU data transfers to the US, and HSBC is being fined with a $45 million penalty for illegal trading by the Commodity of Future trading commission the charges are specifically for manipulative and deceptive trading in connection with swaps related to bond issuances spoofing and supervision and mobile device record keeping failures at various times during approximately an eight year period the fact that they only got a 45 million dollar penalty is just sad but again the banks aren't in the best spot so maybe they got a little bit of leeway for this overall guys make sure to hit the like button on your way out if you find value out of the video hopefully you enjoyed watching hopefully you enjoyed the weekend we have an exciting week going forward and if you want to talk with me on on the daily make sure to join the discord i love you all lottery socks out